Hello everyone, my name is Ebolon and welcome to our new video. The stealth games are very fun to play. And in today's video, we're going to count down top 10 best stealth games for silent but deadly gameplay. But, but before we just we dive to the video, I really appreciate it if you click on the subscribe button and like the video or don't. I don't know. Watch the video. Enjoy it. It's all yours, but you know, I'm just kidding. Like the video, please. And subscribe. Thank you. Let's dive to the video. Number 10, Shadow Gambit The Cursed Crew. Our picks of the best stealth games kick off with Shadow Gambit The Cursed Crew. From the studio that brought us the Sprados 2 and 3 comes the spooky pirates self escapade. Equal parts pirates of the Caribbean and Assassin's Creed. A few Manikato and the others accursed shipmates brought the Red Molly. Have unique skills and abilities to help you combat Ignaxia and her lackeys. Inquisitors who seek to control the famed pirate ship experimenting with different party members and executing plans simultaneously is one of the most satisfying part of Shadow Gambit. So if it's the well-paced stealth strategy game with stunning graphics you are after, look no further. Number 9. Plague Hotel Requiem the heartbreaking saga of Amicia and Hugo continues in a Plague Hotel Requiem. Following the events of the first game, you might have been hoping these baleful French children might have been spared future suffering. And you'd be very, very wrong about that. The sequel takes the room kids on yet another perilous adventure. Using a similar alchemical crafting system and a sneaky stealth mechanics we've come to know, love and dread. Somehow, developer Asobo Studios have managed to vault the game's stake tenfold. The story is richer, the crafting and combat even more intuitive, and that's just a few reasons why Plague Tale of Requiem is one of the best felt games in recent years. Number 8. Mark of the Ninja Remaster. You have to give kudos to Clay Entertainment for making a side-scrolling game that feels just as satisfying and stimulating as some of the best three-dimensional stealth games out there. Hell, the beauty of Mark of Ninjas isn't in spite of its 2D makeup. It's because of it. That unconventional perspective forces players into new modalities of thinking, with puzzles and platforming becoming an integral part of the experience. The animation is also a slap you around the face gorgeous. Those dense, painterly textures and brooding backdrops really are the sight of a source of selfie eyes. Number 7. Thief 2. Metal Age. Forget the half-baked Thief remake from 2014, Thief 2 The Metal Age is the series' seminal masterpiece, as one of the first stealth games to offer open-ended levels, responsive first-person controls and geniusly emergent forms of the gameplay. It paves the way for future titles. Despite its age, Thief 2 hasn't lost any of its original appeal. Impeccable sounds and visual work preserve Thief's world, ensuring the atmosphere is as captivating as it was 17 years ago. All these years on, the game's freeform design has kept its replay value alive and well to this day. Number 6. The Last of Us Part 2 The most intimately upsetting game on PS4 is also one of the greatest Thales games ever made. Building on Naughty Dog's original apocalyptic adventure, The Last of Us Part 2 strengthens the original stealth elements to create a sequel that's both harrowing and emboldening. The game's greatest strength is that it hangs on the knife edge between empowerment and total helplessness. Depending on weapons you're holding, Ellie could be an unarmed, terrified girl hiding from the bloodthirsty German Shepherd or a tooled up badass who could silently eliminate a half of dozen enemies with a super satisfying bow and arrow. Whatever you think of the game's affecting story, the meat and the potatoes itself in The Last of Us 2 is excellent and uncomfortably personal. Number 5. Alien Isolation Possibly the greatest video game tie-in there's ever made, and certainly the finest one that involves a 9 foot tall slavering beastie with a distinctly penis shaped head. The genius of Alien Isolation is that it leans into Ridley Scott's hallmark horror, not James Cameron's bombastic action sequel. Jettisoning pulse rifles and firefights for motion trackers and quite dread. The creative assembly taps into the pure inner space no one can hear you scream. Spirit that made Scott's 1979's masterful one of the most influential horror films 
of all time. Spine tingling, self classic. Number four, Hitman 3. Probably the only game on this list where the concept of stealth usually involves very little with being hidden. As the closing part of the Wall of Associations trilogy, Hitman 3 once again rewards players for keeping Agent 47, well, m very much inside. The brilliance of the sequels and the series at large is that while your seven foot assassin is always visible, it's rare any of the game's MPs you realize just how deadly he is. Blend in at Berlin nightclub when use the deafening noise of sweaty ravers to drown out all that stabbing and shooting. Dress up as a detective before entering into an elaborate murder mystery at a sweeping English manner. In Hitman 3, Darius death and murderous social stealth is only a change of the clothes they made. Number 3. Dishonored 2. What can be said about the games that's been gushed about non-stop ever since its release? And for incredibly good reason, after Arkane laid down such a superb foundation in the original, it was inevitable Dishonored 2 would be a home run. This is a sequel that builds upon its predecessor in almost every conceivable way, throw in Arkane's natural knack for unprecedented world building. And you have a stealth game that's only a few inches shy from perfection. Number 2. Assassin's Creed Mirage. The first in the long line of upcoming Assassin's Creed games is here. Going right back to the self century roots of Ubisoft's flagship series, Assassin's Creed Mirage is a stunning return to form, featuring black box missions, assassin contracts, and an altogether more compact narrative and map experience. Exploring King Basim's origin story will feel a lot like coming home to long-term fans of the series. Wait, 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 wait. Before we dive to the last one, I want to say again, subscribe. <laughs> Let's dive to the last one. And number one, Metal Gear Solid V Phantom Pain. The flaming unicorns, a sniper who really should be wearing more clothes, the cutest one-eyed dog in the history of games, Metal, Metal Gear Solid 5 is not a stealth game you can pigeonhole. What is it then? Oh, just the greatest stealth adventures of all time, and it's not remotely close. While it may have endured an infamously tortured development, one which saw the game's true ending locked off, the Phantom Pain remains a towering achievement. Whether you know your octagons from the Ocalots, this is the most joyously freeform self games there's ever been, empowering players with the sort of bold agency so few games ever have the gods too. This is an adventure where the depth of your sneaking success is only ever limited by your imagination. Be it asking your horse to poo on command in order to make that jeep in the distance skid on. Save Philly feces recruiting hundreds of guards with snakes personal hot air balloon kidnap service or using a mute sniper charm to trank you your enemies from a mile away mgs5 reveals in giving players choice this is metal gear at its most playful and adventurous it's truly glorious